Oh, Michael was upset. Michael's parents come and begin decorating the baby's room, Michael's friends ridicule him at school, Michael has acrophobia, or a fear of heights, which is why he couldn't leap off the swimming platform. Michael is seen with a friend who is rooting for him, fleeing all the bullies, and noticing a small cute rat. When Michael sees it, he becomes intrigued and begins chasing it. He reaches a shed near his house while chasing it. Coming into this shed makes Michael feel uncomfortable, and he also hears voices. As a result, Michael flees to his house, terrified. When Michael returns home, he informs his mother about his surprise. Michael's mother's health was deteriorating at the time. Michael becomes concerned and dials 911. Michael's mother gives birth to a premature baby girl in the hospital. Michael was relieved to see his sister. The baby was held in the hospital for a few days. When Michael gets home, he informs his father about the shed. When they go to check, they discover nothing. After a few days, Michael asks a boy from his neighborhood about the shed, and with his assistance, Michael enters the shed. As he enters the shed, he discovers a strange man who appears to be sick and impoverished to Michael. Michael is taken aback when he sees him. When he gets home, he tries to inform his father about him. But because Michael's father was anxious about his kid, he couldn't tell his father, so he informed his friend, who was serious about his swimming race. He walks away while telling Michael to enter the tournament. Michael was concerned about the scenario. Michael greets his neighbor when he returns home, but she seems peculiar so he doesn't talk to her. Michael approaches the strange man in the shed and asks him to assist him, but the stranger refuses. Michael travels to the hospital the next day to greet his parents and his infant sister. His infant sibling was in far worse shape. Michael encounters an elderly lady in the hospital, who notices his agitation and begins conversing with him. Michael tells her about his infant sister. During the chat, the elderly lady hands Michael a grape and tells him not to worry since everything will be alright. The meal was brought late at night, so Michael went to the shed to offer the remaining food to the poor man, who gratefully ate it. When Michael visits the hospital, he realizes the man's back is unusual, and he also notices small wings there. Michael tells the old lady about the sad man. The old lady tells Michael that he should help that man, and she gives him another grape. Meanwhile, Michael's sister arrives, and Michael is overjoyed to see her. He brings food and medicines for that man since he is joyful, thus he will be fine soon. The man begins to feel better after taking the treatment. Michael was playing with a friend one day when he suddenly realized something horrible had happened in his house. He dashes back to his house, only to discover that his baby sister is ill. She was sent to the hospital. Michael is depressed once more. The weird man also knows Michael's depression, and he turns angry on bushes. Meanwhile, Michael's next door neighbor shows up. She takes Michael to the lake to cheer him up. There was an ancient tower near the lake, and Michael's neighbor began talking to him, which made Michael feel happy. Michael learns that his sister has a cardiac condition. Michael couldn't do anything to save his sister, which is why he was always sad. He is hoping that the weird man can assist him in this situation. He approaches the man and tells him everything that has happened to his sister. I know you have some powers from which you can make everything fine, he says, and he asks him to make his sister fine. Hearing this, the guy proclaims that all humans and animals, whatever of age, must perish, I am unable to assist you in saving your sister. Hearing this, Michael becomes enraged and flees. Michael arranges for his neighbor to meet that man the next day. When she sees that man, she becomes intrigued. Who is he? Michael's sister did not recover, and his father became depressed as a result. They attempt to smash down the shed, but Michael leaps from his bed and plummets to his death from the roof. As a result, he prevents his father from entering the shed. Michael pulls the man out of the burning shed, conceals him in the tower with the help of his neighbor, and doesn't stop even after being stopped. Surprisingly, Michael reaps the benefits of his good deeds. We shall live happily until the child is with us, as his father assures him. They decorate the baby girl's room, the baby girl is taken home, and they begin to live happily. Michael and his neighbor collect food things and go to the poor man's aid. Because the man took such good care of him, he was gradually improving. Later, the man says, my name is Skellig, and I am a creature, not a human, I've been here since humans first landed on the planet, and he also shows them his damaged wings. Michael's hands were burned when he saved Skellig from the fire, 
Later, Skellig clutches Michael in his neighbor's hands, and they begin to soar in the air as a result. Michael and the girl polish Skellig's wings. They make him appear attractive. Michael and his neighbor leave, and Michael sees that the burn wounds on his hands have healed. This indicates that Skellig is a magical creature, as he had been depressed and anxious for a long time. This is why he remains silent. He sees no hope in his life. He doesn't trust in himself. Michael's sister's operation was the next day, so he asks Skellig for assistance in getting to him right away. Please make my sister fine, begs Skellig, but he says he can't assist you. Michael, who is unhappy, goes to the hospital to meet the old lady. He learns that the old lady died the night before, and Michael recalls what she said. She claimed that if you're a good person, wonderful things will come your way. You'd remember your humanity for the rest of your life. Michael returns to Skellig to seek assistance from him. Michael's friend lost a competition at school because Michael did not attend to save his sister with his magic. He rushes in rage in search of Michael, noticing Michael approaching the tower. Furious, he approaches Michael and asks, "What is in that tower?" Michael claims that he will tell you everything later since his sister is in the hospital and need his assistance. Because Michael's friend has left, Michael returns to Skellig, saying, "You are a decent human. You can make my sister fine." To which Skellig responds, "No, I can't assist you." This, Michael claims, is not the case. This world is built on faith and hope. I'm going to resurrect your faith. Instead of being afraid of heights, Michael climbs to the top of the tower, hoping that Skellig will save him if he jumps from there. However, Skellig is startled by this and opens his wings to save Michael. He intervenes to prevent Michael from collapsing. Later, they fly from above the lake, and the tiny kid restored the father once again, giving him hope that there are many people in the world that require Skellig's assistance. Skellig's life returns to normal after that. They fly for a long time in the sky, and Michael sleeps. Meanwhile, Skellig goes to the hospital to see Michael's sister, and with his magic, he helps Michael's mother sleep, and he lifts the ailing baby girl. The doctors are likewise taken aback by this. Michael's neighbor wakes him up the next day, and he rushes to see his sister. His eyes welled up with tears of joy as he saw his sister in good health. He knows it was all because of Skellig. Michael tells his sister the name of the old lady, and he vows to never forget the person who instilled trust and hope in him, as well as pushed him to serve others. This was a happy family now. Michael meets with his friend and clears up any mistakes.